Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Now, I want to get my post fight for the welterweight contest UFC T Mobile Arena, Las Vegas. Tyron Woodley versus Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And I. Give you guys my post fights. I keep it a buck with you. Keep it honest. I got to say, and maybe this is how I built it up in my head, but March 4th, I'm not trying to complain. I seen the Garcia Thurman on free TV on the boxing side. I watched Hey Bell You, and I knew about UFC 209, Tyron Woodley versus Thompson rematch. And in my mind, maybe I built it up too much, but with Garcia Thurman and Woodley Thompson too, I was like, man, and even Hey Bell You, I feel like all of these, I had like a vision of how all these fights would play out. I'd be like, man, it's going to be all out wars and dog fights. I've already put up my Garcia Thurman post fight. Check that on the channel. It was more of a tactical fight. The first round looked like it was on and cracking. It was going to be like Thurman Porter part two, but that wasn't the case. Uh, Thurman boxed beautifully early and then kind of took some rounds off, used some movement because he knew Danny Garcia wasn't quick enough to catch him and then he pulled out a split decision now for UFC 209 I really expected more in the main event oh actually um the Overeem my dude Mark Hunt got knocked out that was that was crazy but for the main event with Woodley and Thompson too I expected a little bit more I, I thought the first fight was just like edge of your seat entertainment and it was more competitive so round one was clearly a Thompson round but I thought these are five minutes rounds we're talking about. I thought they would be like, of course, the conflicting styles. You know, Thompson is a, he has a karate discipline background. So you don't want to rush in. He's, he's a taller fighter, great with his kicks. So I expect a bit of caution. But to me, I think beyond like the first maybe two, two and a half minutes around one, you should get a feel for it. Plus you already had five competitive rounds three months ago. So you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I felt like they were too cautious, especially in round one. So it was it was pretty dry. There wasn't much action. I edged it to Thompson because of he was just a bit more active. He was throwing some kicks and um, he was keeping Woodley like off balance from just rushing in. And round two was kind of a close competitive round. Wasn't too much action in that, but a lot of people probably would have picked Thompson. I, I stopped scoring it. Round three, Tyron, he got more aggressive, which is his coach in his corner was telling him to do, and it paid off. And as a champion, I really expected more from Woodley in the early rounds. Like, I, I don't, I understand you don't want to just run into a kick or, you know what I'm saying? You have to respect Thompson, but you have experience fighting him. You already have five rounds in the can. So it's like, I expected a little bit more aggression, like, he was, he was very minimal with his attack, making this a uh, very close fight. And I thought he should have been a lot more aggressive, but still be respectful of your opponent's skill level and his karate. But, you know what I mean? Be mindful of it, but the only way you're going to win is if you throw punches, throw kicks, and score. You know what I'm saying? And I thought Woodley was a bit tentative. They both were, but um, I think uh, Thompson was controlling the pace in the first half. But... In that third round, Woodley was credited with a takedown. He zapped some energy from Thompson, landed some good stuff while he had him in control. And then Thompson got back up and he made it competitive for the remainder of the rounds because he, he he just kind of got back to what he was doing, controlling the distance, using his length and height and, and reach and stuff over Tyron Woodley. Round four, kind of the same thing. Like to me, the fight was just a bit abysmal. I was expecting a lot more. It's like these guys... For two guys who have already scrapped and had a had a very competitive first fight, maybe that's that's the curse, you know what I mean? Because they I think they were just a bit too respectful for each other. And that's that's not what it is. You know what I mean? That's not it's not gonna be the most appealing. You know what I mean? I understand the conflict, the styles and the danger, and I'm not saying fight stupid and, and run in there and run into something and get knocked out, but 
I mean, you can even tell the, the UFC crowd in, in several spots, they were getting pretty restless and booing and stuff like that because it wasn't much sustained action. You have little spots and they'll break away and then they're real respectful. But in the fifth round, um, that was the best excitement or drama or action in the fight to me. Tyron Woodley, he knew to keep his welterweight belt that he had to get more aggressive and he did just that. And he caught Thompson on the edge of some punches and it was very close to a stoppage. He had him against the cage. The way Thompson fell, he got folded. It looked like he was about to get stopped, but Big John allowed it to go on. Uh, credit to Wonderboy. I mean, he clearly, people forget, like, they think if you get knocked down, you don't have a chin. But to me, he has a chin because he gets, he's been hurt both fights versus Woodley. But you look at Robbie Lawler, who's a known tough guy, and he didn't get back up. So, you know what I mean? I do think Wonder Boy is just durable, tough, and he has mad heart because the, the shots he was getting hit with, it, it could have well been over, you know what I mean? But he still keeps getting back up. He was badly hurt in both, both fights at this point, and um, he still gets back up, shows massive heart and a chin and just durability and the, the willingness to win. But uh, he was badly hurt. You could have argued that it, it should have been stopped at that point because he was kind of defenseless, and then somehow he wrestled his way back. It was a little too late, too little too late in the round and in the fight. Like if that happened in round four, it might be done for because I don't know if uh, Wonder Boy's legs would be under him. But I thought he had a, a pretty measured approach and he was winning the fight for the most part. Some of the rounds were closed, like round one and two. It wasn't anything definitive. Nothing was as definitive as Woodley's like onslaught in round five. And him being the champion plus him having that moment I would have scored a 10-8. I think one of the UFC commentators was saying he wouldn't have. That was a 10-8 to me because that was a hair, a few punches connected from being stopped. And depending on the referee, they might have somebody might have seen that and stopped that. But Big John made an executive decision and probably knowing that Wonder Boy has heart, he allowed the fight to continue. But to me, that was a 10-8 round. And Tyron Woodley went on to win a majority decision over Wonder Boy. So I, th I think the decision was fair. I mean, some people would probably argue that that Wonder Boy um, won. It just he didn't. To me, he didn't do. It. He was keeping him at bay, but he never really had anything that just real. He had a couple front kicks and stuff. I think around two, but he never really had anything to me that just took Woodley out of his game and and stung him to the point where it was like, oh shit. You know what I mean? I think Woodley had the the best barrage of uh of strikes and that was in the fifth round and then he had the takedown plus he's the champion so usually you got to do a little bit more to unseat the champion overall i just thought it was going to be more action um i think both guys were mad respectful to the other person which i understand they're, they're both elite level fighters but I, I really expected it to be just just more of a a battle of wheels and battle of guts and somebody really imposing their style and for five rounds i didn't really see that from either guy minus a couple spots but i don't think anybody dominated the fight and the fight was kind of a uh, fought to me in spurts at a certain pace so i don't know maybe that's just me being rough on it but march 4th i just expected like nothing but barn burners and fireworks and with garcia thurman and the woodley thompson rematch I just, ex I really want to say I expected more fireworks than what I got, but you know what I mean? It is what it is. Let me know what you guys thought of UFC 209. The other thing that was a bummer for me is I was really looking forward to Tony Ferguson versus Khabib Nurmagomedov on this card. And as you guys know, if you follow UFC MMA, uh, Nurmagomedov like did whatever strenuous shit in training and he ended up like dehydrating himself so the fight was called off because he was in no shape to compete or fight he was dehydrated and obviously that wouldn't have been a good look but i was looking forward to that because i felt the Nurmagomedov versus ferguson they were doing a great deal of trash talking and it was a good build up plus it was a meaningful fight where the winner should in my opinion should be in line for like a conor mcgregor shot after he has his kid and comes back to the sport i think that's going to be the the division that Conor McGregor goes back to, and it was, for that reason, it was like a meaningful fight. So that being taken off of the card, I don't know. I just that was a bummer. And then the main event, it wasn't really sustained action. It had spots like at the fifth round, that was the best action. Like I said, the Mark Hunt fight was cool. 
um, with Alistair. And the other thing I noticed about Overeem's body type ever since he got busted is dramatically changed. Like his shape, he does not even look like the shape that he used to be in back in the day. I understand he's a little bit older and stuff, but I mean, apparently he's still strong and in the clinch, it's, it's hard to fuck with him and those knees are still strong, you know what I mean? Because Mark Hunt's a big dude and a knockout artist and in that clinch, he, he, he really just knocked them out with I think two consecutive knees. So let me know what you guys thought of UFC 209. Woodley retains his welterweight belt. Who do you want to see him in there with? They also have Michael Bisbing, who's fighting GSP. I'm looking forward to that fight. Let me know what fights you're looking forward to most next. Drop that in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.